My name is Oyolu Abokola and I am a manager in the Ode line of service. This video is created for both the Black History Month and the World Mental Health Day, taking place in October. This explores and celebrates the intersectional experiences of mental health. The theme of the World Mental Health Day this year is it is time to prioritize mental health in the workplace. This is a core part of the PwC's care value and it is our hope that this comes true in this video. Similarly, the theme of a Black History Month is reclaiming narratives. Again, the aim of this video is to profile the lived experiences of our people from across the firm and their narrative of mental health. I am passionate about this and I look forward to celebrating this unique month and living its truth. I will now hand over to some of my colleagues to share their amazing stories. Thank you. Being a Black British female, He's of Nigerian heritage, go Super Eagles, um, and was raised in church. I can absolutely see how the stigma surrounding mental health uh, within the African community, within the church, can be detrimental. But upon joining PwC, um, I was able to sign up and, and become trained as a mental health first aider. And it's been incredibly rewarding just knowing the support that I can give to friends and family and colleagues um, and just having the toolkit that I can use. For me, mental health is an ongoing conversation, something that's so important to discuss openly as much as physical health or emotional well-being. Um, and as a queer cis white male from a lower socioeconomic background, it's something that I was not encouraged to discuss as a child. It was more important to put on a brave face and have a stiff upper lip than it was to discuss any element of male weakness. Um, and therefore, as an adult, someone who suffers with clinical depression and who has attempted to die by suicide multiple times, it's a vital conversation that I want everyone to feel comfortable and empowered to have, because discussing without judgment and listening actively with an understanding ear reduces the stigma around mental health and shows us all that at times it's okay not to be okay. I'm Kat Aranello and I'm a senior manager in business solutions. Following a traumatic event around seven years ago, I was diagnosed with PTSD. This led to feelings of isolation, despair, and at one time, suicidal ideation. It was a really scary time. And at the time I felt nobody really understood what I was going through. At the time, I felt a bit of a fraud. I wrongly thought that PTSD was something that was diagnosed for people that uh, served in the military forces. While some people immediately understood my diagnosis, I did experience some stigma around this, including unhelpful comments such as, everyone seems to be diagnosed with PTSD these days, or how could you let that happen to you? I would never get myself into that situation. This really minimized my trauma, and comments like this led to feelings of self-blame, anger, and shame. However, I had an amazing line manager who strongly advised me to seek help through AXA Stronger Mind, and I'm so glad she did. It saved me and it meant I could go on to live a fulfilling life and continue to work and feel I had a purpose. It is so important that we speak about mental health. This ensures that conversations around mental health are normalized and people feel free and are able to open up, talk about it and seek help as needed without feeling shame. Always remember, it's okay to ask for help and take care of your mental health.